who's the first woman to grant me a seat at the table? And I'm a little worried that I don't have the right personality for that question because um, I just always sat at every table. <laughs> I just sat down. I'm Afro-Latina, my mom's white, so that also makes me multiracial, and I'm queer. And I don't know if we've seen an, a multiracial Afro-Latina queer performance yet. When young women see me either in front of the camera or know I'm behind the camera, I hope that they learn it's never too late to pivot in your career. I spent almost 20 years as an actress before I started directing. I feel that women are heroes. I feel that women have incredible strength. I try to reflect that in the stories I choose. There's no job that a, that a woman can't do. Our line of work is a collaborative effort. No one can do it alone, right? And so, yes, I think Hollywood is trying to address all of it. And I think we are all coming together to address it together. Like the Everything Bagel! <laughs> We're only as rich as we are diverse. It's so exciting. It's so exciting when stories are told from a perspective that is unfamiliar to me. We need more difficult women in Hollywood. I'm gonna say that. Difficult to me means bold, it means audacious, it means ambitious. I am really excited for women to continue to have a voice and to be able to speak up, speak out, and support one another. It's never been a question of talent. It's always been a question of opportunity, but I think there are some great young voices out there that are finally being taken seriously. I feel it's a, a very important year for women. We're in such a grave situation, women in America, with the reversal of Roe versus Wade. I think we'll all gain strength from coming together. Because quite frankly, when, we, when we're in the rooms, we get shit done. Oh, my God.